Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro, uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy EMC data from one world to another. Okay, so yeah, it's cheaty, but I like to know how to do stuff, so I figured out how to do it. And you know, maybe I want to work in one world and build up some EMC, and then I want to start a new world and have that EMC and not have to start all over again. Just maybe, just maybe I want to do that, right? So I'm going to show you how to do it, guys. So, all right, here we are in a world that I've played quite a bit in, in this world here, okay? And I have uh, 115 million EMC, okay? So I have, you know, quite a few items. Now, obviously, if you're doing a modded world, then it, you need to have the same amount of mods. I'll maybe test a little bit later and see what happens if I don't have those mods. Uh, you know, if I get corruption or whatever. But let's just play it safe and say we got to have those same mods. Okay. Like I say, I have all these items here that I've captured. And, you know, I did it legitimately in this world. This is a survival-based world and all that. But I want to transfer it to a new world. All right? So let's do that. So, all right, I'm going to save out here. And uh, I'll create a new world based on this. Okay, so go ahead and close. This is kind of a big, big world. It's quite explored. Uh, you know many thousands of blocks but okay so let's just create a new world whatever it doesn't really matter just I'll do it in creative I'm not going to do any particular seed or anything so let's go ahead and let the world generate um, I should have went out of full screen I suppose while it did so we could do a little bit of stuff into the background but what we got what we're going to do is we need to pull some data out of the MVT uh, files of the level.dat. Then just to keep it synced with the server, you know, uh, just you may not have to do that, but it, you might as well. Okay. Now, you know, server has a different file that's based around your UUID and all that kind of stuff. So... Let's go ahead and let this guy make the world and do it. Uh, it's always a little bit of a hesitation here when we're making videos and creating worlds. So let it happen. Here it goes. And basically we just want to get a basic world um, and we're going to be in creative. So we'll give ourselves a transmutation tablet and all that. Okay. So here we go okay so here I'm in here I am in a nice little planes world and all that okay so let's save it out and now we're going to want to go to MBT Explorer yes 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 So, MBT Explorer it is. Okay, right there. Open it up. Okay, now let's go and let's open the first save that we have. The, the one that has our EMC data that we want. Okay, so that I should be in the folder that I was playing with it before. Yeah, all right, so here it is. This world. Now we need to get the level.dat, open it. Okay. Then we want to break break that down and go into data. And then toward the bottom here, we want to go into player. Okay, and then scroll down. Then under player, there's going to be one called Forge Caps. Okay, Forge Caps. So that's where it is. Now you've got two things here. You've got the Project E-Knowledge 
You have the Project E Alchemy bags. So anything you have in your bags will be in there. We'll just get the knowledge, okay? So here it is. I've got uh, 1,146 entries. So it'll, it'll go through and it'll show you each entry. You know, here's Minecraft wool, all that, okay? So, and then it'll tell you your total EMC value right here. Okay. So there you go. That's what you want. And so basically just copy it. It's probably better to use the copy of the MBT Explorer program just so you're sure that it's transferred in there. All right. So now we just want to open it in our other save, right? We just want to go through and get this new world and go to its level dot dat right here and open it. It'll replace what's open. You, you don't have two things open at a time in MET Explorer. Right? Then you go ahead and expand it out. It's the same thing. Go down to the bottom. Go down to player data. Okay. Find your forge caps right here. Okay. And now we want to select that Project E Knowledge and we want to delete it. Okay, we want to get rid of it. So, did that happen? So, yeah. So only the alchemical bags is left. Now select the forge caps itself and then from the menu, paste would probably work. Let me not get lost. But just from the menu, choose paste. I like to use the internal one just to be sure it's transferring the data clear. So here's the project key knowledge. There's all the things and all that. Okay, so then we want to save that file. Now, just to be safe, I, this may not be needed, but there is an additional area here under saves for your first save. There's a folder called player data. And it has your UUID and some data. Now, again, this is server data. Okay, so it would be your your player data on the server. Now, go to do the same thing. Um, it's a little bit different in its structure, but not too bad. We want to go under Forge Caps. You don't have to get into anything else. It's it's right in Forge Caps. So we just go ahead and grab it. It's the same, so you really don't have to copy it again from the first thing, but you can uh, just, like I say, safety, safety, copy, and then go ahead and open your other one, other save for the new world one, and go into its player data folder open its version of that okay expand it go down to forge caps and you can guess what's going to happen we're going to delete this one right there we're going to paste the other one right there it does have a keyboard shortcut but that's hard to show on the screen of what you're doing but there you go now we should be good okay so now we should be able to open new world right here and have all of our EMC data. Okay. It's clean as a whistle, but once again, um, you know, now you can like remove mods and stuff. If you have project E I've done that before, like, you know, had it in the transmutation table and then remove the mod. And so, you know, you may be able to get away with not having the exact same mods. You know, I, I, I just, you may not want to risk it. You know, I, I don't know. Just one of those things. Um, but, so this could actually save you some time if you wanted to do that. Uh, and it's just one of those interesting things that... I like to sit and figure out sometimes how things work. So let me just go and get myself a transmutation table right here. And we should have it. Bam. Let's go, go full screen. All right. One mil, 100 million, 388. All the items. 
There we go. We transferred it over from one world to the other, so now we can just pick up our play however we wanted to do it. Now, I can see no problem at all, at all, if you added new mods, okay? So, like, if you had a certain base set of mods that you were working with just to get your EMC up and stuff like that, then you decided you wanted to add some mods to another world, like play a Thomcraft world or something like that, and add Thomcraft. No problem. There's, of course, no problem with that. I'm not thinking there would be a huge problem if mods were removed from here, but I don't know that. We'll have to try it. But certainly adding mods is not a problem. So anyway, guys, now we are double cheaters. Double cheaters. Yes, we are. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Scott Omato, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, please, please, please. And I would so much appreciate it. It will make me a very happy man. And I'll... I just gave you 115 million EMC. So, got to be worth something. So, have a great day. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.